Hi everyone, I'm Dan. I'm Dan to the bike shed with my latest build. It's the 1980 Moto Guzzi Le Mans Mark II. This is my latest build and uh, I saved this bike uh, from uh, Lake Road District. Went up there and by, uh, by van. And the owner would, would love to make a trike conversion. I said, no, no, no way at all because of the pedigree of the bike. That is an Italian racer and I'm Italian. I felt like my heart was broken here in that world. So this is my view of the Cafe Racer. I started this project two years ago uh, during the spare time, weekends, the evening. And uh, the first thing uh, I did was stripping everything apart and rebuilding everything from sketches. Uh, I just finished a month ago and I'm planning to spend all the summer on this bike and planning to race in the Cafe Racer Cup with Bike Shed. I uh, would like to take you around the bike and show you a few more things. Let's start with the front. I delink the brakes as the Le Mans comes with an integral brake system. The, the front now is operating only the front and the rear only the rear. The rims has been uh, sandblasted and painted, power coated, black and gold. And uh, from there, the forks has been refreshed. We got uh, the carbon mudguard, custom made. Then we got all the fairing that uh, is a fiberglass fairing where the brackets, some brackets have been made, some other have been bought. We got the endurance light. So on one side is raised and the other one is straight, and yellow paint. And from there on, uh, we can see uh, the dashboard is another custom made dashboard. We got the switch for the voltmeter when only you want it to be activated. Same, uh, we got the original handlebar and uh, brakes, uh, all the brakes has been uh, replaced. At the end, we got the side mirror. From there, we got uh, all the tank is original and just uh, custom paint. All the bike has been kept originally as much as possible. All the engine has been refreshed and reconditioned and the same for the carburetor, clean, everything mm, has been painted black and uh, left polished. Then we got the pipe, the original pipe on the collector and then we got a competition pipe, 30 years old competition pipe from Stucchi to keep their originality. From there we got the Tarozzi pegs and all the linkage. And uh, we got the frame that has been power coated in black, gloss black. And from there on, uh, we got also the little badge that was on the side of the bike, just to keep in mind was the model. I relocated the battery underneath the engine. And we got the polished tray here on the top of the engine. We got the um, seat hump that is a fiberglass as well with the custom seat and the tank strap. The seat hump is a cowl that is coming off and reveal the space for the pillion. At the end, we, here we got the daylight has been uh, hidden underneath the hump. And we got the fender that is completing the length of the frame that hasn't been cut and cut originally as Lino Tonti did the first time. Now is enough talking and uh, I would like you to hear the sound. I hope you like the bike. Please like and subscribe the YouTube channel by Shed and uh, turn the alarm on to know when the next bike will be. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I might miss that one.